If you're under 13 years old, you must make sure you have your parents or guardians permission to watch this video. The content in this video is family friendly, but data may be collected by YouTube for advertising purposes. Hello and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video with me, Foxy Dotel, here on the truly bedrock survival realm, surrounded by yeah, a couple of pillagers that are just wandering about, just completely oblivious. Oh, they're, they're, they're not oblivious to me anymore. There we go. Hello, guys. Hello. Uh, welcome to the video. Yeah, this is not what I expected when I logged on a second ago. I guess we're going to need a way of dealing with these. And the only way to deal with these at the moment without triggering a raid... Ow. Ow. Without triggering a raid is flint and steel. Hmm. I don't really seem to have anything like that about... Uh, excuse guys. Excuse me. I'm trying to get stuff at the moment. And you're you're making it very difficult. Hang on. Hey, just wait a minute. Just wait. Wait. No, wait. Wait a minute. Stop beating each other up. Hang on. Right. Where's the chap with the banner? There he is. Look. It's just oh that's yeah of course that's uh um slabs i have to come outside so i can get you outside please sir there you go that'll do perfectly very good if you wouldn't mind just setting yourself on fire there that's absolutely fantastic there we go very good anyway oh 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 hello yeah i can kill you without flint and steel actually can't i there we go let's get rid of that guy but what's this what is what's this sub sub to Sly. why is he not what's he built a wall for <laughs> what why why he's built like a spoiler wall that says sub to Sly on it i mean it's in his base but What's he trying? Is he like trying to block out my vase or something? Or is he just stopping me from seeing his? Seeing what's going on? What's going on there? Ah, oh, I think uh, I think we all know what this means, guys. I think we all know what this means. Back in a mo. Many, 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 many. Many, 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 and there we go. That is absolutely perfect. Zloy is my favorite Disney princess and a little picture of him being a Disney princess. And that kind of brings me on to where I've been. I know my videos haven't become too infrequent, but they might have slowed down a little bit because it was the February half term and I took my kids to Disneyland Paris, which was absolutely amazing. And while I was there, I did a little bit of reflective thinking on my life. Because being at Disneyland and having all of the fun stuff there is to do at Disneyland reminds you that being happy is really, really, really important. And there's certain things in my life that don't make me particularly happy. One of those is my job, and I'm going to be talking about that later on. Or maybe, you know, maybe I'll do like a separate video on it. But basically, I'm seriously considering stopping my full-time job and going on to doing YouTube and stuff full-time. But, you know, early days yet, early thoughts on that. Don't get too excited or too worried or anything like that. There's there's discussions and figures and things to work out. But I, I want to chase my heart. I want to be happy. I don't want to just be miserable having to, you know, slog hard to do a job that's completely unrewarding when 
I think I can make or get by. It certainly won't be easy, but I think at the moment I could probably get by without it. But yeah, I, I like that. I think I've done a good job there. I think Zloy's going to love it as well. So there we go. Anyway, time to move on. That wasn't what we were going to be doing today. And to be honest with you, it's taken me so long to do that. I've kind of forgot what we're going to be doing today. But I will think of it. I'll be back with you guys in a minute after I've taken a small break. Oh, dear. Sloy has literally just joined the game. Hi. <laughs> um, right, I've just come down to my lab to log in. So have a quick look. Oh, I don't want that in my offhand. So have a look at the things that we need to do for this. We've done... Oh, no, we haven't done stealth mission, have we? We haven't done teleportation. And we still haven't had enough comments from you guys. Come on, guys. Come on, help me get the moon rock. Come on, so keep sending those comments. I am reading them, I promise. Uh, we've done that one. So, yeah, teleportation, I guess, maybe, is probably going to be the next one we should try. Uh, because we can do that relatively easily with things like um, chorus fruit and stuff. So if I was to, like use one of these rooms to develop some sort of teleportation chamber that might just help us get where we need to go and uh, and do that so we're going to need to figure out what we're going to use to actually trigger the teleport how we're going to actually curve the teleport in the right direction to get us where we want to be you know how we're going to put the coordinates in and things like that so i guess i need to start thinking about how we're going to do that so i guess the first thing we need to do is go over to the mob farm and have a look at getting some chorus fruits and getting some of those because that's what we're going to be using for our teleportation material. I mean, technically, enderpearls would do a good job, but enderpearls are, yeah, they're very, very, very difficult to get hold of. And, um, yeah, well, I don't like going to the end, really. All right, then, over here at the mob farm, we should have some chorus stuff growing in here. We absolutely do. And it's grown pretty tall as well, which is good. So if we can activate this, we'll get a load of chorus stuff back for that. And we ought to uh, harvest this as well and replenish our flower supply because we've not got many flowers in there. So I'm going to do a little bit of maintenance. And then I'm going to, um, yeah, then I'm going to harvest that thing and replant these. And then that should give us enough chorus flowers to start. Oh, that witch is still here. Hello. <laughs> I haven't seen you in ages. I know. I know, right? Anyway, yeah, so um, <laughs> I'm going to get busy. going to get busy doing flowers and fruits, mate. And then, uh, yeah, I'll be back with you in a little while. Yeah, and that's that bit harvested. Let's chuck those flowers in there. It looks like we've already got a load of stuff already anyway. But we're going to harvest it for the fun of it. It's a shame I won't be able to see it go. Ah, I can feel the lag of it going, though. There we go. We saw a little bit of it. A look at all that tasty chorus fruit. Very nice. Oh, this thing's insane. Huh. Interestingly, none of it went underneath that time. Normally, it all falls through the bottom, which is uh, which is a positive. And look at all that. We've got loads of chorus fruit from that. It looks like we've already got loads in there as well. And as much as I've just harvested all of those, I actually need to go and plant them all again. Otherwise, we're not going to have anything growing in here. And I can't remember how I did it. I think I was doing it like every other couple of ones. Maybe not as often as that, actually. Hmm. Maybe every third one. You're yeah, definitely going to need more chorus flowers. Now, while I'm over here thinking about things and not really paying much attention, I might as well talk to you peeps about certain things and things and this and that. You might notice that while we're playing on this world, things are a little bit more laggy than usual for me. Now, you might also notice, if you watch some of the other Truly Bedrock members' videos, that things are a little less laggy for them. Now, the reason for that is basically uh, we're actually currently trialing. We've got a free trial of a cubed host server. Cubed hosts, in my experience, have always been pretty good, um, but uh, obviously normally we've got a server running literally in the same room as my pc so i get a local area connection to it which means it is very 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 quick for me with no lag whereas people that are maybe in russia i.e zloy and people that are on the other side of america like uh, prowl and slack and silent and people like that they they suffer a little bit with the connections that we've had so we're trying this basically because there's been a range of issues with the uh, the Bedrock server system for a while, and we're just seeing if this is any better. Uh, I don't think it is. I think this is pretty much on a par with what we've already got. Certainly, obviously, it's a down step for me because it's more laggy for me, but I can't you know, judge this based on my own experience. We need to look at this as a whole. So you might find that next week we're either back on my server or we've moved over to this full time, depending on the experience of everybody that plays on here. So... You know, I'm not affiliated with Cube Toast or anything like that. I'm not sort of advertising for them. But in my experience of using them over the years, they are one of the better hosting providers. Um, 
And they're not too expensive either, and they do have a good support system. So, yeah, I'm not. I don't think we're particularly interested in trialing anyone else's servers. But if things work out well with this one, we'll probably keep it. We'll see. Okay, now we're back at my secret underground lab. Let's use this area here as our teleportation room. So let's add a new door into this little room here. This can be the entrance. I will tidy that up later, and we'll do it in this little spot here. Uh, first thing I want to do, obviously, is put down a chest with all of these things in it. So, let's have a look what we've got. So, this is effectively going to be our source of teleportation. This is going to be our fuel for the system. We're also going to need some sort of power source to run this thing. And we're going to need a way of actually controlling how and where... No, not how. Well, the direction we're going, I guess. The coordinates we're going to be going to. And I think compasses would be a good one for that. Compasses in Minecraft point where you're supposed to go, don't they? So, let's have a look. See if we can craft ourselves some compasses. Now, my new redstone shulker box is a little empty because I don't know if you remember, but a few episodes ago, mine went missing during a crash. Hopefully, with our new server system, that's not going to happen. Hopefully, we're not going to lose anything, but you never know. But let's, uh, let's make a bunch of compasses. There we go. We've got 10 compasses. So that's going to help us with our coordinates, I guess. And then we need a power source. I guess maybe just, maybe just redstone for our power source. That could work. Although it's sort of a dimensional thing. Maybe we should get some ender pearls. Maybe we should make some sort of ender power source system for this. I think that would be a good idea. So well, as much as I don't want to go to the end, I think we're going to have to go to the end, aren't we? Oh, man. Now, just before I go, let's check our ender pearl supply. We do have six in my mob drop box, which is pretty good. What about in our storage room? No, nothing in there. So, yeah, we're definitely going to need... Some from the end. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's go put these away safely and then let's go to the end. Jeez. Well, this is a little weird, but here we go. We were in the end and I have no ender pearls already. That's a... Yeah, I should have really, like, maybe brought some with me. Not to worry. All we got to do is find a few endermen. We have played this game before. It didn't work very well. And, uh, yeah, just grab some ender pearls, I guess. Looks like someone's got themselves a little chorus farm there. What's this? Is that a way of... Farming Enderman? Is this no? What? The, what? What are, the, what are people doing? Digging? Whoa! And that's a lot of bit. Whoa! That's a lot of beacons. Okay. There is many, many beacons in the end, but not so many, many Endermen. Now, what we could do is, if we could get a couple of Ender pearls, if we could go out to an End Island and perhaps, uh, whoa, yeah, perhaps do stuff from that. If that makes sense. Come on, guys. I just don't know if I dare go through any of the portals. That's the problem. <laughs> Um. Ah, way up, hey up, hey up, Mr. Enderman. No. You, over there. And you. Come on, this way. Roll up, roll up. It's chopping time. Well, we got seven already. That didn't take too long, but I feel like we want more. So I think maybe... Is that Enderman chasing... Yeah, it is. I was going to say, is that Enderman chasing me? It absolutely is chasing me. And it's giving me a good walloping. Come here, Enderman going away yeah i feel like we should probably go through like one of those portals but i'm sure i've used that one for the wither thing before hmm hmm we'll get uh, hey oh no hey we'll go up in anyway and find out see what's going on what could possibly go wrong right i'm going in peeps with all my stuff let's hope i don't lose it please don't crash me out the game oh that was lucky ah whoa that was loud as well it does look like someone's already made a platform over oh it's right next to an end city cool Right, it's not really what we wanted. We just want these guys. But it looks like there's a lot of them around here. So that's good news for us. If I just stare at everybody in their faces, stand under here. This, I think, is pretty much still the best type of Enderman farm you can get on Bedrock Edition. Because everything's just so broken when it comes to Enderman farms. Okay, so I've done this for a little while. I've got nearly three stacks of Ender Pearls, but the number of Endermen keeps diminishing to the point where they're not really interested in seeing me anymore. And the reason for that is because they end up like getting stuck on the edges of the End Islands and they can't see you and they end up like miles away. So what you really need for one of these is you need a little island like, well, a bit bigger than that, but right out, out over the void where you can basically make a platform, get away from all of these ones that have already spawned and then, yeah, force them to spawn in that way. But I thought, I hoped we'd sort of just come across one of those naturally, but it doesn't like, look like we are. Now, we've got a few over here. I'm going to do this for a little bit longer, see if I can get, like, four or five stacks of Ender Pearls, and then I think that'll probably do us. Okay, we now have a bunch of Ender Pearls that we can make some sort of 
power system with. We've got our compasses. We've got our pops chorus and our chorus fruit. So we just need to make some sort of teleportation device. How hard could it be? Okay, I've got something coming together. Very, very multicolored at the moment. And I'm just working on the sort of ender pearl power system. As you can see, we've got a pipe going up here. And the reason I've cut into... Well, basically, I was going to finish it and then cut to it being finished. But I'm going to show you the process of what I'm doing for a change. And we've got some cauldrons down here with different colored dyes in to make it look like sort of almost an ender pearl type liquid. And then, obviously, I can't move that liquid about. So I've gone for stained glass which I'm going to run through these pipes so it kind of looks like the liquid's being transferred through these pipes. Now the reason I want to cut into the video is just to show you the tedious amount of effort that you have to go into to actually just make these pipes work. So you have to basically put a trapdoor down like that then put a redstone block above it so it flips up. Then you have to put a piston next to it and then power that piston and then that will push that along and then you can get rid of it again because you can't yeah, it's the only way to like get the side pistons to stay upright and it's an absolute pain and it's <laughs> I've got to do that for this entire thing. So I don't think I'll bother with the backs. I'll probably just do the fronts and leave the backs open just because you're probably never going to look to it from that side. And also because iron trap tiles are really expensive, like really, really expensive. I'd probably be better off using wooden trap doors, but they just don't look very good, do they? They just don't have that texture that we need. If we look in our box here, I mean the jet, the acacia one's kind of good because it's got holes in it and the oak one's okay because it's got holes in it, but they don't look very industrial, do they? If I was to come over here and put these on, I just don't think it looks very good. It's alright if you're outside and you're putting water on, they look like pipes, but in here they just, yeah, they don't look very industrial at all, really. I don't think the handles on them help. So I really like the, the, the metal ones. So we're going to go with those for this bit. And then we'll maybe uh, maybe do something else on other pipes that will be linking up to this thing. Well, this kind of automates it. If I pop a trapdoor there, hit that button and then that button, that kind of works. It's certainly going to be quicker doing it that way than it is uh, doing these all one by one, breaking the blocks. But this is only going to... Oops. Only actually going to work for this small stretch that I'm doing here. Well, I'll take it. And there we go. 100% complete. There are a few gaps. Not a lot I can do about that because you can't have trapdoors on the same places. But, yeah, that's done. And it took a way, way longer time than I'm prepared to admit. That took absolutely forever. And I don't ever want to do it again. So I think I shall avoid using metal trapdoors in the future. And yes, I haven't done anything on this side. Oh man, it just took so long to do that side and you're never going to look from it from this side. So it's fine. It's fine. It looks like a pipe. It's absolutely fine. It's lovely multicolors. We're taking the power source from the the thingies, what are these called? Ender pearls. And we're sending it through there. So we've got power. So all we need now, we need our little, what's it called? We need, where are they? These things, our chorus roots in order to actually help us do that and we need a control panel with the compasses on so we can decide where we're going to be going with that so i'm going to be working on those next i guess but man that yeah that took a long time it took a very long time and now i feel like i'm getting a little bit closer we now have our like direction system we've got our 10 uh, 10 what they're called compasses on either side of these control panels and we've linked them both up with this redstone line here which goes all the way from there into that side of our machine so we've now got our machine linked up on two sides we just need the last side now which is going to link to our what they're called our little um <laughs> mcjobbies chorus fruit so we need to bring those into there we need a chorus fruit system in there somewhere and then this thing's going to be just about ready to go although i do feel like i want to add a little bit more detail to this area here i'm thinking that the the black terracotta or the black glazed terracotta would be a really nice addition there and let me just oh i've got no rockets on me let me see if i can show you what i mean these ones here these ones have a really like oh not industrial but almost like a death starry sort of spacey type feel to them and i think having a few of these dotted around as a bit of trim might go really nicely in this room so i'll look at doing that i might like put them along the top there and bring them down a little bit and just in case these sort of stands a little bit more we'll see but yeah that's an idea that i've had for this but yeah next thing i guess is the chorus fruit chorus fruit edition well 
I haven't finished yet, but I've done quite a lot of work on it. And I was trying to just like quickly wrap this video up because I've been running out of time for ages and I've put tons and tons more work into this thing. I'm actually really, really enjoying it. And it looks very colourful. So the the things I've now, I've actually moved this one one block forward because it wasn't even. And we put some sides on those so they're not too obvious. We've got this floor here. I've used the black glazed terracotta to add that sort of like evilish vibe i guess it's not an evil lab or anything but i don't know i just kind of like it and i've done the warning stripes and i've also added these warning stripes in this sort of um yeah the the iron bars around there so not a great deal else going on with this apart from if i flick this lever you'll see a beacon beam a purple beacon beam goes off in the center of that thing which is obviously uh, going to help us so that is basically the the ender pearly purpleyness of teleportation that's going to be basically feeding through, although I haven't actually linked this up yet. But that, if you like, that's compressed chorus fruit that's being beamed through into the player, which is giving us our teleportation cap capacity. And the next thing that I've done is if I flick this lever here, you will see it also rains ender pearls. Because why not? <laughs> why not? I thought, oh, we got a little bit of yellow concrete in there as well. But yeah, I thought this was quite a fun addition to uh, to the whole thing. So when you're getting going, you'll turn that on and you'll turn that on. And I just thought that was, uh, yeah, quite nice. So and these levers are actually doing something now, which is kind of cool. So we've got a raining ender pearls thing. We've got this cool, like, archway thing. We've got a nice flooring. We've got that. The only other thing we need to do is literally just get these chorus fruits tied up into the system. So I'm imagining something relatively similar to, similar to this, but definitely a lot more purple. Probably a bigger vat of it. Maybe some fire underneath for, like, melting it down and then uh, having that pumped into the side as well. So we'll probably have the pipe going into that one there. And I think, yeah, that should just about do it. Then I reckon it's going to be pretty much ready for teleporting us wherever we need to go. And I, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with this, how this has come out so far. It's very colourful and uh, it's very bright. But why not? Why not? We now have a 100% complete teleporting system. I have absolutely no idea whether this is going to work or not. I think I can't see why not. The logic is sound. We've got raining enderpearls. Everyone knows that you need raining enderpearls with a little bit of yellow concrete in there to help you do teleporting. We have a beacon beam that is using compressed chorus fruit in order to, or liquefied compressed chorus fruit in order to sort of send that teleport taking stuff into the person. And we now have our liquefying or chorus fruit liquefying system and a nice jungle pipe. Why not? Bit of jungle. Bit of, bit of jungle, and we've got a fire. So basically, we've got a golden furnace here. If we open those doors there, we can see the, uh, you could ju almost see, if I peek around the corner, that the, the yeah, the chorus fruit, which is being fed into the system through these hoppers here, is getting all liquefated in there. It's getting drawn up through this pipe and stuck into the side of that thing. We've got our ender pearl slash redstone -y power system over there, and uh, we've got a unlimited water source over there, which I need to tidy up. And we've got our ender pearl system here and our redstone signaling system which comes from our compasses here. So everything is tied up, everything's ready. It's 100% complete and ready to test. All we've got to do is input the coordinates, flick it all on and end up in Silent Whispers base. What could possibly go wrong? Unfortunately, however, I have run out of time for today. So, unfortunately, I would like to say thank you all very much for watching. And I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do please leave a like. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one when we get teleporting. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We're finally going to get that moon rock. Bye.